Okay, this is my second impressions of Mesa's Wild by Roroni Catholic, uh, made for the 2009 OHRPGCE 8-bit contest, in which we make uh, contestants make games that try to emulate the, the visual style of old 8-bit Nintendo games by limiting our palette colors. And I say second second impressions because I just recorded my first impressions and my stupid software deleted it all before saving it. So, uh, but I had so much fun reading the dialogue the first time that I actually can't wait to do it again. <laughs> so this is Mace's Wild. <clears throat> I name the hero Kenneth. A good solid name. All right, I am a little red fox character in the police station. I am a robot, an orb of floating metal. I'm from the future. I am Tomac. I have been assigned to assist you in your missions. Beep, beep, beep. I will name the hero. Tomac is acceptable name to me. A new recruit from the future. I've got to talk to the chief about this. A power bar vending machine? These things are all over the place. And this appears to be a shop where I can buy power bars to restore my life. And I can buy the news, which appears to be a weapon. And is really cheap, so let's get a bunch. Lots of news. Um, always remember to equip things you buy. Um, that's weaker than my club. All right, the news, which I'm guessing I throw at enemies, but we'll see. I am Educator Informer 078. I will instructify you in the ways of the world. Are you ready to learn? Yes, I'm ready to learn. Um, let's see, combat and experience. How do I fight without getting dead? Violence is actually quite easy once you get used to it. As a trained law enforcer, you should be familiar with this. However, if you want a refresher, refresher course, here it is. As you patrol any dangerous area, there's a chance of running into a hooligan, miscreant, or feral animal. Typical criminals will try to clobber you and take your stuff. A good show of force will drive them away. Ble beasts, on the other hand, most likely smell food or remnants thereof in your pack. They will snap at you to get it. In either case, once, in once engaged, you can attempt to fight them or using either your weapon or a special skill. Just highlight the action you wish to take, press space, enter, or control, select the target, and press again. If you accidentally made the wrong choice, the wrong penultimate choice, wonderful use of the vocabulary word penultimate, penultimate choice, simply hit alt or escape to undo your previous selection. If you think the encounter to be out of your league or do not, not worthy of your time, just hold down the escape key to run away. You should somehow have your biolog if you should somehow have your biological materials damaged too badly to fight, you can have an ally feed you. Feed you. If you in if your entire group is brought to into this condition, you will be teleported back to headquarters and treated by a p by a physician. Our doctors are salaried employees of the state, but the teleporting will cost you the usual twenty five dollars. Energy isn't free. You will grow in experience as you fight, toning your muscles and in improving your matter. Your stamina will also improve, raising your energy. On occasion, you will learn new skills as well. Your other abilities, such as skills and armor, do not change with experience. Change your equipment if you want that. Tobmac is a robot, so his body does not become stronger through exertion. It wears out. Even the best technology wears out eventually. Such is life. This concludes our lesson. I hope you are not feeling lessened by this experience. Puns. Oh my goodness. Elements, statistics, equipment, use of disclaimer. The names and likenesses of celebrities are used in a satirical fashion. We all like a good laugh. Ha 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 ha. I pity the fool that used my likeness without permission. Yes, thank you for that. This concludes our lesson. I hope you are not feeling lessened by this experience. I love doing robot food. I could I could do that until my uh, recording software ran out. But as my recording software is touchy, I think I will move on. 
Ah, ah, Kenneth, I was expecting you. What are you waiting for? Come here. You're a loose cannon, Kenneth. What do you want to talk about, boy? Well, sir, it's about all these robots. Ain't they the greatest? It's the newest bad. Apparently, someone in our department invented time travel two or three decades from now. Knowing how undermanned we are, our future selves are apparently sending law enforcer robots back to us. And in return, we steadied them to make the robotics technology develop just that much faster. Everybody wins! But isn't that a little bit risky, sir? I mean, it does change the future when we do that. It's not risky to us, boy, because we're in the past. See, if, if there are any problems, they're all on their end. No skin off my nose. Isn't that just a little bit irresponsible? What about our descendants? Well, my kids don't give a darn about me as it is. Or I care about the future. I'm living for 1990X in 1990X. In any case, our contacts report that there's going to be a break-in at the Long Edge Lab. A Long Edge Tech Lab. You know it? Yeah, that's the one with the neon sign that says, Secret Lab. I think the owner is Dallas N Dallas Mation, correct? You got it. Anyway, I want you to go, I want you to guard their new secret project. I hear it has something to do with time travel. Ooh. Okay. You know what I say? Get a hustle on, man. All right, I'm going to go guard this lab. How do I find this lab? Hello, not special box. Doc, I can heal you up. I just won't like it. He won't like it, apparently because he is a cat and I am a fox, known to be mortal enemies. Okay, I can heal or I can save. Let's save just in case. A very Mario looking pipe over here. Uh, doesn't appear to lead anywhere, unfortunately. Okay, must resist talking to the robot more. I could do that robot voice all day long. In fact, I think I will at work tomorrow, but uh, that is neither here nor there. Now, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go, and I'm probably going to run out of. Ah, I just got hit by a car. Okay, fortunately it didn't seem to hurt me. Oh, I just, I just fell down. I just fell down a manhole. All right. Um, I'm probably going to run out of recording time before I uh, get too much further, but uh, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying the dialogue in this thing. And uh, after Rurouni Catholic's entry into last or the the last OHRBGC contest, my uh, expectations were a little low but this uh this looks like it's a lot of fun and it definitely deserves more play than uh i have time to give it right here and right now um also i think this is the only or maybe one of the one of the very few uh entries in this contest that actually use just the standard engine features um uh, it's it appears to just be a, a standard RPG, which is really what this uh, engine was built for, um, and that's uh, that's kind of nice, uh, <laughs> kind of nice to see, and uh, it uh, and I'm out of the sewers again. Okay, good old fashioned clean RPG fun. Hey, buddy, spare some change? Not for you. I only give to honest, hardworking American citizens. So apparently that is, uh, he fails one or more of those. Miss T says, I pity the fool that didn't finish this area of the game. Okay, that's uh, safe to say that's not, that's not the direction I'm supposed to go. Never get tired of Mr. T. What are you looking at, copper? I could write him a ticket, but his family's loaded and it would just come back to bite me later. Injustice sucks. That's right, injustice sucks. I love that little emoticon. And by the way, <laughs> look at that expression. <laughs> okay. Oh, I cracked me up. Okay. All right, I better... Oh, okay. Battle. Battle. Uh, battle. Oh, but I'm running out of recording time. I will fight this off. 